You might be thinking that most of the gamers are just wasting their time, apart from the people who are trying to do it professionally, either streaming or, you know, playing competitively. But we are just overachievers stuck in a very slow world. So in this video, we will try to understand how a gamer's mind works and how we can use a gamer's mind in our day-to-day -day life. So the question is that why a lot of people who are gamer are stuck in, uh, you know, day-to-day -day life. For this, there's a very simple answer. You can find it anywhere on the internet. It is to do with the cheap dopamine. It is not just in games. It is with everything we do from games, drugs, drugs, alcohol, sex, pornography, junk food, whatever gives us cheap dopamine uh, is kind of like bad for us. And I'm not saying we should not do it. I'm saying we should be able to understand that how this kind of things can become a habit very soon because of how our brain works. So whenever you create something, and you do it your brain is rewarded for that and when you do it a lot of time a lot of things happen in your brain this becomes a habit so after this the question comes up that if you are a gamer are we always going to struggle i'll be very honest with this i cannot answer that because every single person is unique and it is not how the western world usually portrays for example there can be an article on the newspaper that gamers are likely to be depressed now there will be some studies based on like some certain number of participants and it's a spectrum like there can be people who are at a very low end of a spectrum and very high end of a spectrum and usually all the scientific data and everything are you know a mean result in a way and the news articles and everything you saw are just clickbait they want you to click on that because we are kind of triggered by fear and we want to know like oh what is happening and when you read these kind of things and i'm not saying it's true for you or me it's just like it's in your brain like it is a negative emotion we are consuming and it comes down to self-awareness that if i'm letting that article affect me in any way or not and the main thing is that you are unique you control yourself. So the question we have to answer is that what can I do if I am a gamer or I was a gamer? You know what is the best thing? Why don't we apply the same analogy of a game to the real world and just play it? All we have to do is not think about the logic. So this is the problem with our world right now. We are all kind of, you know, trying to find the logic. We are trying to find the logic that why things are the way they are. And people can go on debate for I'll say weeks or even years and I think it has gone for decades and centuries but there's like there's no right answer to it we can believe in something and it's completely up to us but we kind of know the basic logic of the game and all we have to do is play it and now the idea behind this analogy is think about it so whenever you are playing a game so for example you're playing GTA or for example you're playing PUBG or you're playing Sims any game like any game you have understanding of a basic logic and after you can rant about it to your friends you can go on a rant online but in the end you have to play the game you cannot change the logic of the game unless it's a mod like again you have the basic understanding of the game and you just play it by the rules so whenever we play next or if we try to remember when we used to play games that we were so focused into the game that we were just like in there like we are just playing the game in the moment waiting for the next thing to happen so we can take action based on that our life is kind of the same. It's a slow game. When we play game, we are used to getting those cheap rewards by completing the missions, side missions, upgrading our costume pack, upgrading our looks and everything. And it's just all cheap dopamine, which we should be getting in our real life. And I promise you, real life is more better. I'm not saying games are bad. You play games in moderation. Everything is good in moderation. Okay, now maybe for some people, they don't know the logic of the game. They don't understand how the world works. And that's why our mind is always questioning the things and whatever we are doing. So let me put it forward how this world actually works and what matters and what doesn't matter. Okay, first thing, you have to understand that your actions have consequences. For example, I can't go in real life how I go in a game, as in like, let's say GT, I can't steal people's car, I can't go and punch people. I will face consequences. So I know that basic understanding. And if you believe in karma like I do, then you can also understand that all of the things we are doing will come back to us in one way or another. Okay. Next logic to understand is that it is almost 8 billion multiplayer arena you can say in a way so every single player is different we don't know what they are planning uh, we all know what they kind of like think about us uh, maybe we kind of know that there are some allies and it's completely up to us like our personality who you want to make allies with and who you want to make enemies with so that is the basic thing and we all are born with different inventories it's completely random let's say that wherever you are spawned, you get random resources allotted to you. Now, the third thing to understand is that it is a very, very long game in terms of, let's say you uh, will live an average life. So the more you think about the length of the game, the more kind of it's get overwhelming. So if you are playing a game and you know it's take ages and you are not enjoying the game at the moment, you will kind of like leave the game, right? You will stop playing and you will kind of like look for the other cheap dopamines like you know 
again games food alcohol drugs and sex so that is how i see you that you are not playing the game again i can't emphasize this enough when i'm talking about all these things i'm talking about them when they're not in controlled manner and you are kind of like addicted to it and it is affecting your day-to-day -day life so if we understand that it is a very long game all we can do is keep upgrading ourselves so we are ready for whatever the next mission is how you can upgrade yourself so money definitely helps like in game money helps it helps us buy more resources it helps us to live comfortably it helps us to take care of a lot of things i'll say most of our current problems within the external world are caused by money so money is a very important resources but there's another thing which you can upgrade are skills so in games you upgrade your skills by performing certain things let's say for example you remember in gta uh, san andreas there was a mission where you have to learn the flight school thing so you keep doing things and you upgrade your skills you keep going to gym you upgrade your body you keep reading you upgrade your mind you keep doing things you will keep upgrading yourself and the main thing which we have to understand what we do when we are playing the game we are playing in the moment if you are very used to the game you, your mind might wonder while playing the game but most of the time when we are in a game and it's like a mission you are constantly there you are always completely focused that you don't even realize what time it is if you have eaten or not your house is burn down does not matter you are so focused in the moment so this is the key this is the key to win in life uh, if life is a game and not win let's say it's a marathon and all you can do is like keep upgrading yourself and you have to be focused this is the main point from all of this analogy try practice that in your real life think that you are in a very very high graphic simulation of whatever and you understand the basic logic of this life you know what your resources are how much money you have in your account what skills you have what knowledge you have if you think you have all the knowledge that is arrogance that is ego take that throw that out of the window you can never read too many books if you think you don't need any gym and you don't need to do any sort of fitness activities think about it again you can always go for a running you can always do some push-ups you can always kind of upgrade yourself even if you think you are enough in that field now i completely understand that there can be many situations where you are stuck remember that mission in vice city yeah so like that example many things can come in our life and there are different scenarios like how we can tackle them like let's say for a game what we can do either we can try different strategies we can try different weapons different resources if you're trying to defeat a boss this level's final boss so in real life when you face any circumstances you can try to tackle that issue from a different angle try to compromise in some way or another try to you know let go of the money for example uh, you are upgrading your inventory to kill the final boss so in life sometimes you have to understand where you're spending your money if that thing will help you to successfully complete your mission or not or you can try to always keep pushing on uh, there have been many instances in the game where we have been trying to kill a certain uh, enemy or we have been trying to do a certain mission but we fail but we keep trying 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 until we finally do it so those things can happen in life as well like for example applying for jobs applying for different universities or even looking for relationships and there's one more thing which you can do is come back to it later open world game we have different sort of missions it's not like a fixed issue that if i don't do this like nothing else will happen we have different uh, sections in life so if you feel like you're stuck in some place so if you're always thinking about that you don't have a partner you are not in a relationship and you are still young you can kind of divert your focus to other things if you have a good body you are successful in career why i'm not getting any girls or why i'm not getting any guys so best thing you can do is upgrade another thing try focusing on your mental health try focusing on upgrading your skills start reading start attending events you can try to search for different events online either in your career field or you can look for events which kind of go along with your hobby so maybe you like photography and there's a photography walk group who is going for some photography you can join them maybe who knows you will find your partner there we have to kind of understand that if you keep focusing on one mission in a game you'll exhaust yourself and then you'll just give up playing best thing is to do is like take your time you know do other missions life is like that like this game works like that you can do other things in life and you can think of this as like for example if you are playing PUBG or if you are playing Fortnite you might die but what do you do like okay you are frustrated at that point your teammates are playing or if you're playing alone then you're frustrated oh but what do you do you go back and play again right you don't give up you should never give up on anything and never giving up for me does not mean that I'm gonna push myself to a limit where I know it is not good for me it's all about understanding ourselves, and it's all about understanding why we are failing in that thing and that is a completely different topic in itself and I have made a video about that if you are interested in that topic that why do we keep failing that video will be on your screen right now and if you are interested please go and check it out I will see you in that one goodbye